all these other kind of men who don't want to be talking business with a woman because they are they have chauvinistic and sexist sexism in their freaking blood, especially other leaders of foreign countries. So this should be interesting because right now we don't even have Queen Elizabeth anymore. Okay? We have slightly chauvinistic, slightly, slightly chauvinistic King Charles. You're not fully chauvinistic, okay? You know, and you have Putin and then you have the leader of China. These are foreign people who she have to speak with. She gonna pretty pretty much be the only female at the table speaking to these foreign leaders. <laughs> this is great. I feel like this is great. This is like that book that I read, you know, when women rule the world or yeah. Wow. It's definitely repeating itself. Past is definitely repeating itself, but in a modern twist. So I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Let's move. But you know what? I'm going to say this though. You guys don't understand. Trump is looking to go backwards. He don't want to go forward. He want to go backwards. Forwardness is not something he's wanting to do. And I'm not even done yet. You guys thought that was the last video. That wasn't the last video. I'm not done yet. Now, you guys remember. You remember I talked to you guys about. Um, well, I didn't talk to you about. I made a video about Trump alleged fake assassination uh, attempt. Well, I have more information and receipts about this alleged fake assassination attempt. Now, remember I told you I thought the uh, Secret Service men were fake? Okay. Well, I think we may have proof. Take a look at this. Now, this particular clip is the Secret Service men moving people out of the way before the shot even took place. It wasn't even a shot yet. He was moving them out of whatever is away. There are people taking up for him saying, oh, he was just making sure that area was clear. He would just make it that, 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 that. That wasn't really that near. This is what he was doing. But I want you guys to make your own conclusion. Pretty in the face, but she's super thin. See, this is, this is that, that guard here. Matter of fact, we're going to, let's play that second. Here's the video. Right to here. our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a see? little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple see, of months old. Right if All you right. uh, want to really take. see One, something two, to say, three. take a look at what happened. What? See? I told you. Before the shot took place, he was moving people out of the way. People said that was just a coincidence because he wanted the stage area to be clear. Bull crap. The lady was nowhere near the freaking stage. But look, take a look. To our country. Probably 20 million people. See? No one's in the stage. Look at him. See? And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And See? if you uh, want to really yeah, see something One, two, to say, take a look at what happened. And look, he ducks. He don't even run on stage, you guys. The motherfucker ducks. He ducks. He's supposed to be Secret Service, and he freaking ducks. What kind of... <clears throat> mm -mm. Mm -mm. That right there shows me that this was planned and he was making sure no one was around when this was happening. This was planned. It probably was what, BB gun bullets or whatever? I mean, it's crazy. Now, here is that same Secret Service guy who ducked when the shots were fired initially. This is him dancing. Yeah, Secret Service men. You don't find videos of them, you know. Uh, uh, no, no, we're not doing that. Look, check this out. I'm gonna mute after a few seconds because copyright. See? See? Look at him. Yeah, that's him. Dancing. And he's supposed to be a Secret Service agent. Yeah. Uh huh. More and more evidence that this was a planned assassination that freaking backfired. I'm not even done yet. Now, people wanna vote for Trump. I think you guys need to get a clear insight what Trump is about. I've been saying it. He's been saying it blatantly but apparently people don't care this is what trump won for 2025 what is project 2025 part three a dictator's dream project 2025 and donald trump believe in their made-up term called the unitary executive theory their stated goal is to utterly destroy the government and bring everything under the control of a single man Donald Trump, who is immune from prosecution and not beholden to any laws himself with complete and utter control over everything. 
They will do away with the separation of powers, remove all checks and balances, and institute mass prosecutions, jailing anyone who disagrees with them. Steve Bannon, one of the Heritage Foundation's choices for a senior position, stated loudly, We will go out and find the conspirators, not just in government, but in the media. We're going to come after you. Bannon, who is currently in prison for fraud, stated he would hunt down any dissidents and traitors. There is no doubt that Project 2025 is a wish list of a dictator. Its written and declared intent is to install Donald Trump as a king who has complete say over federal, state, and local laws, able to create and ignore them at his whim, and creating authoritarian states so vast we could no longer in good conscience call our country America. So much for small government Republicans. Yeah, that's what Trump is looking for for 2025. He want to run the country like a king and leave it to his predecessors, like his kids or whatever. He don't want it to be election or anything. He just want to be the king of everything and do whatever he want. Immunity to kill, you know, just like the king of England, you know, Prince King Charles. He can kill someone. He's not liable. He don't go to jail. He don't need a passport to go into other countries because he's the king so if he was to assassinate someone you cannot convict him you can't even um question him or even make him a, sus a suspect that's literally what the guidelines of being a king is about Just imagine giving that power to trump that's way too much power for a man like him to have this country will be set back so many freaking decades. Seriously, he would abuse that power to the utmost, to the most activity. We will be freaking screwed, especially us colored people. He will go after us full. Come on now. We start segregating things. You have this white supremacies acting like they're gods and goddesses of something. I mean, it would just be just bad, just really bad. Be set back decades. Biden stepped back because he wanted the new generation to take over. He saw within himself like, this is not working. He knew, first of all, he was t probably freaking tired. He's been doing this all his life. He just want to chill like Obama, go to some games and retire. Hell, like, I don't want to do this. I ain't even want to debate Trump. I don't got time for Trump. It's like debate with a grown child. He probably was up there like, I don't have the patience for this. <laughs> You got to have energy debate with this man. Gosh, just, I don't care about what Trump says. I, that's how I will be at the point. I won't be trying to argue with this man. It's pointless. So, when you vote, vote for the future, not for the past. Anyone who's voting for the past, they vote for Trump. They're not voting for unity. They vote for the past. And you might want to question your friendship. Because that means they're not voting. Trump is not in the conspiracy. He's not being blacklisted or whatever by the elite like me. No, elite people don't give uh, nominations. No, why, why did elite people do not? Okay. Let me just, maybe I'm not making any sense here. They're saying that Trump is being blacklisted by the elite. If he was being blacklisted by the elites, he would not even got nominated to be a Republican candidate. If he was being blacklisted by the elites, he would not be alive. He would be dead and it would not have missed. If he had been blacklisted by the elites, I, you better be damn sure that female judge who got him off would have been threatened to her most freaking scarce whatever to make sure she would not have to miss any charges of Trump. If he was being blacklisted by the elite. I know how it feels to be blacklisted by the elite. Okay? Because I'm being blacklisted by the elite. I'm on like level five, six right now. Okay? Trump is a higher marquee than me. So he would have got Sean Combs. Even Sean Combs is not fully up there right now. Let's matter of fact, let's just say Michael Jackson. Okay? Trump would have been getting Michael Jackson blacklisted by the elite. Okay? And it would have went more... And trying to ruin his name after he was freaking dead. 
So those are signs of being blacklisted by elite. So people are saying he's been blacklisted by the elite. No, he is not because he got elected for a Republican candidate. He's able to still get votes. He's still running around here after being convicted 34 times. So trust me, he is not being blacklisted by the elite. He is not, okay? Please research your credentials of this man when you put him in some label that they're trying to shut him up because they were trying to shut up. Trust me, the elite is very powerful. He will be shed up, shed the uck up, okay? Do not deny the elite power. I know, personally freaking speaking. Trust me, he is not being blacklisted by the freaking elite. So if people were, if my people are voting for him, y'all need to check your, check the stats, check the stats. Trump is reaping what he sow. This is years of oppression, his mouth and crap that's been seriously caramelized that's picked up by him and his ancestors. Like I said, just because the person who inflicted all this karma don't get the karma just due to them while they're alive, who are thinking they're getting away with it now, you have literally screwed up your kids, your kids' kids, because they are going to pay for what you did. That's how karma works. And we're going to move on because I've been talking about this way too long. Okay? Let's move on to the royal family. I'm going to make the royal family. Do up country. Thank you with my dick. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs>